Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl Con 2014, CVB, here with Keith Brooks yeah. from The Walking Dead. Okay, I actually have a story about this. I'm super excited. Because I, I, I read the trades, and sometimes they get mixed together for me, but uh, I always like to wait. I catch up to the season, and then I read like the next like five trades, yeah. so I have an idea what the next season is going to be. And a, bu a buddy I work with, I was reading the trade, and they had that the Carl scene. And I was like, see, this is something you'd never see on the show, man. This, read this page. Yeah. Th they'll never put that on TV. And then, about three weeks later, we, we watched The Walking Dead together, and that scene started. And I was like, oh, I can't believe it. You are the guy that did that thing to Carl. That thing to Carl. <laughs> that terrible, terrible thing. Yeah. That's me. Hi, children at home. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> no. That was, that was awesome. I, I really liked that. And, you know, it, it, it didn't hit me that... That could be the gang that they run into in the book, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I really like that whole the whole setup with with, uh, uh, with no, how Norman Reedus joined you guys and stuff yeah. like that. That was really. What was that like working with them doing that? Oh, no, it, was, it was incredible. I mean, it, not only being on the show is an incredible, amazing experience, especially for a young actor. I know I look like I'm 56, but I'm only 28. <laughs> um, but it's it's awesome for a young actor to be on that show, and everyone there is so accommodating. From Norman Reedus to Andy Lincoln to all the group that we're in, we call ourselves the Claimers, like we were going to go on tour or something. Um, but everybody in our group was just phenomenal to work with, and it's just I can't speak highly enough of the experience. Plus, here's the thing that a lot of people don't tell you. I'm sorry, I'm hijacking okay, your thing. Um, so the Walking Dead has a puppy policy. So if you're on set, you can bring a dog on That's set. That's awesome. Yeah, so the first time you show up, there's just zombies and puppies hanging out, and it's the weirdest, <laughs> most surreal, like, am I in heaven or just a grisly hell? Like, it's, you like, know? it's like, come here, come here, Poochie. Rawr, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it's fun, to say the least. That's cool. Uh, we, we watch a lot of The Talking Dead, and they did the scene where they talked about Andrew Lincoln having to, like, like eat bite raw, raw chicken, yeah. 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 <laughs> that must have been crazy. Like, all right, all right, take, take a bite. All right, come on. <laughs> yeah. it's really fun. The, the night was insane because it was my birthday, actually, that we oh. shot that whole thing. And uh, Andy's, like, messed up with all this blood everywhere. And there's a scene where he sta he's stabbing me to death repeatedly, like, 37 times. And blood is squirting everywhere from my body. They actually had a tube that went through my pants right beside the junk. And, uh, <laughs> and while they were doing, like, take three of it, the tube popped. So blood was just spewing out of my crotch. And he was just... <laughs> stabbing me and I was spitting blood in his face this is, it's like November 15th it's 2 o'clock in the morning it's like 20 degrees outside and we finish the scene and we're just like exhausted and covered with blood and then we turn around and there's Norman Reedus eating a cheeseburger from somewhere going god you guys look crazy right now <laughs> like, okay that's that's weird. <laughs> so best birthday ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we appreciate you taking the time. Do oh, uh, you got anything coming up? Anything else going? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm in the new show Constantine on NBC. Oh, um, wow. Yes. Yeah, and so I'm in uh, the show Edgar Allan Poe's Mystery Theater on PBS that premieres on Halloween. Um, and then uh, uh, the new movie called Nerd Love, which will be on Netflix next year. It's a movie that we actually directed and uh, an actor in it. It's also got Malcolm McDowell, Ernie Hudson. It's about conventions. That's so awesome. It's about Wait, is that based off like the, sh the YouTube show they did called Nerd Love? No, no, no. Okay, just making sure. There. Okay. Yeah. But... So, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's about three YouTubers who are looking for love at Dragon Con. That's awesome. Trying to understand. And I play a, a character named Cobra Commander 1985 <laughs> who suffers from severe Asperger's, um, <laughs> and he does like video game reviews. And so we go to Dragon Con to understand dating. And Malcolm McDowell, Ernie Hudson, Kelly Hugh, they all give us advice, and we try to follow what they're. Jason David Frank, like so. Oh, that's cool. awesome. Yeah. Doug yeah. Jones. Doug Jones is an integral part of it. Doug Bradley from Hellraiser is terrifying. That's and also <laughs> in the movie. So um. That's cool. Well, you know TV works wonders because I yeah. hated you on the show, but I love you in real life. I love you. <laughs> oh, We're going to have a picnic. Yeah, We're right. besties. <laughs> uh, you, here, here, you heard it here Sweet first. Babies. I'm besties with the guy that did that thing to Carl. <laughs> Me. Here you go. <laughs> Claimed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll put... We'll put uh, the information for that down below on, cool. on the YouTube awesome. so people can you. check it out. And I'm definitely going to watch that. That sounds awesome. Thank you. Thank no you very problem. much. All right. Well, we appreciate your time, man. Thank you. No problem. You're awesome. You're pretty. <laughs> You're a pretty. You're all pretty. <laughs> Love you.